Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. Sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and uh, listen to me jibber jabber for the next five, ten minutes. Because in today's video, I wanted to give you a channel update, because I haven't done one of these in a while. And it's currently November, which means it's officially Christmas. So, cue Christmas music in the background. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, hey Warhorse, if you're watching this, could we get some Kingdom Come Deliverance Christmas music? I would be so happy and I would buy that album immediately. All I want is just the normal Kingdom Come soundtrack, but with bells in the background. Kind of like this. Brilliant. So it's probably the reason you're here, and also it's the game in the background. Let's talk about Barbie's horse and, I mean, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm so sorry, they look so similar. Yes, Kingdom Come Deliverance finally got its modding tools this week, and I've been looking on Nexus mods every five seconds to see if someone's uploaded a biscuit-related mod. So let's look at the Nexus mods page. So we've got a few mods that have come out in the last couple of days. We've got one by Paco Taco 123 so let's open this up. This is Radzig Armour and outfits updated and yeah you can wear Radzig's outfit that's pretty awesome actually I really like that that one looks amazing oh my god that's incredible okay I'm so happy this is an amazing mod go download this we've also got graphic mod and from the look of that that looks incredible wow is that a reshade I'm guessing that must be a reshade right so if we go down copy into your game file so I'm guessing you just download whatever this is, all in one RAR. Okay, so that if you have WinRAR or some kind of open zip program, you can download this and just drag and drop it straight into your game. Huh, that looks really cool. And that is by Halus. So uh, yeah, awesome. And something here by Haskier212 is this. Now this is the Apex Realistic Modding Guide Tweaks and Fixes. So if you're looking for a way to make the game look better and maybe run better, then uh, maybe give this a try. Here we go. This is Vanilla and Tweaks. Holy crap. <laughs> Hang on. What? That's incredible. I'm not sure about the clouds, I will say. They're a bit in your face, but everything else, wow. That looks incredible. Yeah, give this a download. Go go check this out. I'll leave a link to the Nexus page in the description below. So as I've said before, send me an email, a sexybiscuit at gmail.com if you want me to take a look at your mods, especially if they're Biscuit Town related. I want jammy dodgers, goddammit. Something that also made me laugh this week was this. Now this was sent to me by the amazing Joy Gill. Now she is incredible and this picture it is my life. Literally every time I go outside, this is what I see. And I think most people who have played Kingdom Come Deliverance see that little symbol above nettles every time they walk past. So something that's kind of related to Kingdom Come Deliverance is recently I ended up picking myself up an M.2 SSD. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how quickly this loads Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yep, that, that was it. That, that was the full load. Holy crap, that used to take me about three minutes. So I want to say the only reason I was able to get that was because of you. Um, my support on Patreon and also through my paypal.me link is incredible. Um, it allows me to be able to buy stuff to make the channel hopefully better, fingers crossed. The ability to quickly load up Kingdom Come Deliverance when I need to capture gameplay footage is incredibly important that makes my life so much easier and that was bought with the donations that you made i'm always going to use the money that you send me to make the channel better because i believe that's what i should be using it for i may buy some jammy dodgers with that money every now and again but it is going towards the channel so i've got to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported me so let's talk about red dead redemption 2 on pc ha ah, it looks incredible and it's coming out Tonight at 12, I think, I think it's 12 a.m. It's going to be coming out and oh my god, I am excited. I pre-ordered this as soon as it was available because I loved the Xbox One version. I only have a standard Xbox One. 
So, the fact this is going to be on PC at 60 FPS blew my little mind. So it's ready, preloaded, and I'm going to be doing a video on it tomorrow, hopefully. What I want to do though first is get through that intro, which I'm not going to put you guys through. It's slow and, and really quite boring, um, especially after you've gone through it three times. Uh, but I will be doing open world gameplay, kind of like I do with Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, I really can't wait to show you how good that game looks. And I've only seen the trailers, and in the trailers, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I think my PC is going to be able to run it quite well. So, fingers crossed on that. But yeah, I will be doing content because making content using my Xbox is a little bit more difficult than, let's say, just recording straight from the PC. I have to set everything up. I have to get my Avery Media out. I have to set up kind of HDMI's and all that kind of stuff. So allowing me to be able to just record straight from the PC makes my life a lot easier and also the quality is going to be better. So yeah, I know quite a few people have been asking me to do more Red Dead 2 videos and that's why I've kind of been waiting until now. Something else that was very kindly donated was some money to be able to buy an ethernet cable. So I have bought one. It's a very fancy one. It's about 15 feet long and it travels all the way through my house into the uh, router and uh, I've plugged it in and I, in theory, am now going to be able to do live streams with zero issue whatsoever. Um, so I'm hopefully going to be bringing you some live streams next week. Maybe next week, maybe the end of this week. I don't know because this week, I'm going to say right now, you may have noticed I didn't upload anything this weekend. And that's because it's been a nightmare, if, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from last night. Last night was great fun. I've got to give a massive shout out to my friend Gabby. Uh, we ended up playing Minecraft um, for quite a few hours and I had probably the most fun gaming that I've had in a, quite a long time. So yeah, uh, let's just say that I've not had the best luck. Uh, so on Friday, on the spur of the moment, I decided I wanted to sell my Nintendo Switch. I decided I wanted a PS4. Uh, so I got the PS4, brought it home very fancy. I own quite a lot of games because I've had PlayStation Plus before. I own about, I think it's about 200 odd games on there. Um, so I ended up starting downloading things and having all of this set up. It took me about two days. <laughs> but I noticed something quite immediately and that's the fact that the fan, good God the fan was taking off. It sounded like a small aircraft. Yep, that's very loud. I did not like that. So what I did was I called up the place I bought it from and I told them, hey, <laughs> it's really loud. Uh, what they did was they then told me, oh, you know, bring it back in and we'll trade you in for another um, PS4. We'll replace it for free. Um, the controller then started having issues. <laughs> so analog drift. Literally, my luck could have not gone any better. So, this whole weekend, I've been struggling trying to get this thing working. And also, today, I was like, right, I've had enough. I'm taking it back in. And they had a PS4 Pro sat in the window. And I was like, ah, PS4 Pro, I, I should be able to buy that, right? In theory, if I pull my money together, I should have enough to buy a PS4 Pro. The first console that I've bought that's next gen next gen it, it's kind of next gen so what i did was i went in there pulled all my money together that i had spare and i, I said right give me that ps4 pro <laughs> because good god i don't want an aircraft in my bedroom um so i've got it it's sat right here I, i've played a bit of uncharted because i got the collection and uh really nice uh, really really nice so that means I'm going to be able to do videos on stuff like The Last of Us 2 and one of the main reasons I bought it, possibly Death Stranding, which is a game that is coming out very, very soon. Um, uh, yeah, I really like the exclusives for the PlayStation. So having the option to play those games now, as well as my Xbox One and my PC, I've literally got every single angle, apart from obviously the Nintendo Switch, but there's nothing coming out on there that's exciting me right now, if I'm completely honest. The new Pokemon game just looks a bit meh, and that's really sad, because I love Pokemon, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Ruby, they're my favourite games, like ever, um, and unfortunately this new game doesn't look that good. Um, so, that's what I've done. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I know I babbled on about this for quite a while. I'm sorry. I, I do that. There's one last thing I wanted to talk about, and that is the fact that I'm going to be doing a video soon on a game that you would never expect me to do a video on. Um, I'm not going to say what it is. What can I use as a teaser for what game this is? You know what? Here is a screenshot. That's all I'm going to show you. I've been playing a game, and we're going to do a video on it. And uh, it may not be pretty, but I've... <laughs> There you go. That that's that's what my channel has become. It's become randomness the channel. Sorry everyone. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye guys.